This video is titled Adding and Subtracting Like Terms. And the first question we're going to ask is What are like terms? Now, a lot of people say that like terms have the same pronumeral or letter. Now, a lot of the times this is true, but it's not always true and I'm, I'm going to talk about that a little later so just to illustrate this let's take three terms let's take the term 2a let's take the term negative 3b and let's take the term a you will notice that two of these terms have the same pronumeral or letter they have the letter or pronumeral a whereas the third term has a pronumeral of B. The terms 2A and A are referred to as like terms because they have the same pronumeral. Now I did mention that this description is not always correct. A more correct description would say that like terms have the same set of pronumerals. I'm now going to show you why it's important to refer to this description here rather than the description above. So I'm going to write down three terms. The three terms are going to be a squared b will have 3b a squared and will have negative 2a b squared. When you look at these three terms, you'll notice that they all have the same pronumerals, but they don't have the same set of pronumerals. What do I mean by that? Well, let's look at a squared. What does a squared mean? Well, a squared means a times a. And what about b squared? What does b squared mean? Well, b squared means b times b. This means that we can actually rewrite each term. So if we look at the first term a squared b, this can actually be written as a a b because a squared means that there are two a's. The second term 3b a squared could be rewritten as 3b a a since a squared means there are two a's. And the third term can be rewritten as negative 2abb since b squared means there are two b's. Now we need to find our like terms and the like terms are the first two terms because when you look at them they both have two a's and a b. The other one, the second one, is written in a different order. It's written baa but it's fine. The order doesn't matter. All we're looking for is that they have the same set of pronumerals, two a's and a b. The third term is different because it has two b's and only one a. So for each description we have given here, the first description, I'm going to put an x there because the first description isn't always correct. And then for the second description, I'm going to put a tick because the second description works all the time. All right, now to our next question. Our next question says, why are like terms important? Now, to illustrate this, I'm going to use apples and bananas. So we'll look at the first scenario here. We've got three apples plus another apple. What do we get when we do that? Well, we're going to get four apples, aren't we? This can also be expressed algebraically. What I can do is say, well, I've got three apples. I'm going to represent apples as the pronumeral A. And I'm going to write 3A to say I've got three apples. I'm now going to add my three apples to my one apple. And I'm going to write my one apple. You can write it as just A to represent one apple. But just for this scenario, I'm going to write it as 1A. When I add these up, I just add the numbers up. three plus 1 is 4, giving me 4a, which means 4 apples. Let's now look at our bananas in the second scenario. We have 3 bananas, and we're taking away 
two of them. That's quite easy. That would mean we would have one banana left over. Let's represent this algebraically as well. So the three bananas would be re represented by 3b, and the two bananas would be represented with 2b. All we need to do in this case is go 3 minus 2 is 1, and we will write 1 with a capital B, or we can just write it as B without the number 1 if we choose to. All right, now let's move on to our last scenario. We have two apples, which we'll represent with 2a, and we're adding this to our one banana. So we'll write that as 1b. It could also be rewritten as b without the number 1. Now, a lot of people make a really big mistake here, and they go, all right, 2a plus 1b is 3ab. They try to add the numbers up. They go 2 plus 1 is 3, and then they go, all right, we've got an a and a b, and they put an a and a b next to it, and that is completely wrong, and I'm going to cross it out. And when you look at the picture, you can see it's really obvious, because if I add two apples to one banana, I don't have three apple bananas. That just makes no sense. All I have are two apples plus one banana. I can't combine these together. So how does this relate to like terms? Well, what we notice is that when the pronumerals are the same, so when we had 3a and 1a, we could combine them together. We could say 3a plus 1a is 4a. The same for the bananas. The pronumerals were the same. They were b. And we were able to combine these together. 3b's minus 2b's gave us 1b. But in the last case, the last scenario, we did not have like terms. And we can see that because one of our terms had an A and the other one had a B. And we couldn't combine them together. We couldn't combine them and say we had 3AB because they weren't like terms. And when we look at the picture, it makes sense. You can't combine two apples and a banana and say that I've got three apple bananas. It just can't happen. Anyway, that concludes our video on adding and subtracting like terms. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooklets that relate to this video.